Hey, what's up, guys? So I know it's been quite a while since I last made any sort of video or whatever. I uh, actually just quit playing on the Mid Ninja. It got really, really boring. I mean, <clears throat> I had no competition really, and it was just kind of boring. Um, and I always, and I remember talking about, uh, or if maybe you guys will remember, I talked about getting into Bleach Online. And so I made a new account on Bleach Online on the Facebook servers because I wanted to try it out on the Facebook servers just because the uh, competition is next to non-existent. And, uh, and I've been playing for about a month and a half. Mm, yeah, about a month and a half. I've missed uh, you know a, a couple events here and there. I, I could be probably about 103, 104. Um, but, uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and do a, an account overview and I'll probably end up um making some videos on this because i have a lot more fun with bleach i mean it's a lot more expensive and and specifically the uh the facebook servers are incredibly expensive they're about twice as expensive as the uh, go game servers um everything costs about twice as much except for certain things like in uh, limited lease certain uh, partners are cheaper than on the go games but then most things are more expensive here um like for example on lucky turntable uh, if you play on the official Go Game servers or whatever, you'll notice that Koga's 8K, Hiki, or I'm sorry, I think like 10K, Hiki, Ichibe, and Oetsu are only 8K, but they're 14K. Roughly, it's 12K versus about 24K. So yeah, twice the amount. Uh, these are 500, 500, 500. So they're a lot more expensive here, which is why the competition is almost non-existent because most people only have a single, you know, event partner like you'll see someone with an ichibe or or a hiki but i've only seen like one or two hikis nobody seems to realize how good she is um but i'll go ahead and do a little partner overview i'm currently vip 8 88 89k i'll be taking this account to at least nine probably 10 though but we'll see this is my server as you can see the competition is non-existent i've got 27 levels on second place he's the only other vip I believe, or not VIP, but he's, um, I think he's almost VIP six, five or five or six. Uh, he doesn't have the achievement for six, so he's, I think he's close though. And then followed by um, Misaki, who's the guy here. Uh, yeah, everyone, I think, mo like once I topped up, because I originally topped up to VIP six, I think I did a 20, 20K top up. And uh, everybody just kind of quit after that. But uh, Ayane and Misaki and uh, Vidya, I think these are the only four people active anymore. Just uh, just us four here. I haven't seen anybody else in a long time, like at least a month. So kind of kind of lame, but hey, whatever. Free farm every day. That's how I've gotten so many levels so quickly. Over almost level 101 in a month and a half is insane. Uh, actually could have been probably about 104 105 if I really pushed it so uh, Luckily, here's the ultimate charge. So I did a I did a 60k top up today. Well 62k So but like here's some of the differences like if you compare these to The go game servers go game server actually has a 60k level you actually I think get a level 9 10 11 I want to say see like significantly better on the go game servers Because we're so but we're like we're behind we like have the old prices from six months ago or something it, it's strange like when we have events like this they'll be the same price but when we have a uh, lucky turntable they're twice as much um when we get um witch's house or whatever witch lair whatever that the one is called like senbon is the best uh zon you can get there but on the go games cotton is the best one you can get there and senbon is still like 30k gold on these servers um it's annoying because I'm I'm I'll, I should get first. I mean, if you look at the difference, 600 thousand, 62k. I want to get Cotton with the 62k. I'm gonna get back, but I have no idea when she's coming out because we still don't have her on the Facebook servers. And she came out I think in January. So uh, yeah, I'm a little. I don't know if I want to just say F it and get Tensa uh, because Tensa is pretty cheap on these uh, go on these servers. I think you can get them for. I think he averages about 40 to 45k, maybe 35 to 45k, depending on the event. So he's not that bad. I think that's about the same as Go Games, or maybe a little less. Um, but I'd rather just get. I'd want to save it for Cotton because I have my whole team planned out. Because uh, I have everybody I want except for Senju because I'm going to run a 113 because that's just what you do nowadays. Because when you T1 Senju, 
you just T1 your entire back line and you just dominate. You, you go into Senju, into Hikafune, so you're invincible. So if there's uh, support happens to go, it won't matter. And so far, I haven't seen a single T1 even in the top eight CSB. I, I believe I'm the only one on the entire CSB with T1. I actually bought it earlier. The uh, limited purchase here was just, it was absolutely worth it. I mean, I could pick, I picked up two of these, which is insane. I mean, this is a great value. The exclusive frags and the Hogu Talismans alone are great. The level 10 spirit box costs more than 6k. Was it like 6400, something like that? So I bought two of those, and then I bought three of these. Uh, I really needed the modified chest, so that was really useful. I was going to pick up this uh, a couple times, but meh. I have uh, a lot more stuff. So here, let me just go ahead and do an overview. So here's my main, nothing special. You don't focus on the main until you get your supports and, you know, your uh, Vanguard all done, but mainly your supports. So still very, very strong main. I mean, I'm going against level... Okay, so on Facebook, they only make a new server every week, once a week. On the Go Game servers, it's like every three or four days. So I'm going in my CSB. I am against people from, let me look. Also, my uh, my CSB rank here, rank nine, is before I did my 60K top up. I was rank nine with only VIP six against people, look at this, 116, one, people who are already reincarnated and stuff. Way ahead of me. So for example, I'm on server 69 which is about six weeks old, so about a month and a half, because I believe 75 just came out, or 76 just came out yesterday, so about a month and a half. 52, okay? That is 17 weeks ahead of me. 17 weeks, and I'm already around the same level. That's that's how, like, uh, Asami Koko and uh, Kuro, and then there's one other guy, um, Blood Maul and Azuna. Those were the top four. I think Azuna and Blood Maul forgot to register, which is why they're so far behind. But I mean, level 120, server 46, which is 23 weeks ahead of me. Like almost six months ahead of me. So it's a big, big difference. And I'm already almost caught up to them. And I mean, and it's not like, a, I think they probably topped up around the same. I just, I guess I just, I know what to prioritize. Because I mean, they have, uh, a couple of them have like uh, Muramasa for their Zan, which is still pretty expensive on these servers. I think he's like 12 or 14K gold. He's not cheap. He's not nearly as cheap as the uh, Go Game servers. I think you can get him for like 8K there. Um, and they have like three or four triple S partners. They have like uh, uh, Hisaji. One of them has Isaji and Isane, the, uh, the crazy healer support. But, um, but yeah, the competition's not too bad here. Okay, so I was like rambling off. Okay, so here we go. I just hit a level 100, so I'm trying to farm all the 100 accessories. I was saving, I saved about 29,000 crystal cores to, to use on the level 100 set. So there's my gear, my stones. Like I said, uh, I sh could, if I started when they did, I'd probably have, you know, probably all level 8s and 9s. But, you know, because I haven't been able to do as many Ryokas... But not bad for support. You know, I got seven strengths across the board with an eight. Uh, about like five or six agility. I've got like six hit on everything. You know, whatever. It's it's whatever. I just throw my miscellaneous ones on my main. I got Tasai earlier. Uh, I would say he's better than Ishin. Uh, he's a little slower. A little slower. About 0.5. But his strength is a good 1.0 higher. He has higher wisdom and I believe he has significantly more stamina. He's a lot stronger. Like 80k physical, I had the same gear on my Ishin, and my Ishin was even, I think had some Evo on him, uh, and he only had like, I don't know, 50k or something, so he is better, his, uh, oh god, I gotta, okay, let me show you, he's not as bad as people are saying, he randomly attacks three enemies, which Ishin technically attacks between one to three, depending on how many assaulters there are, for 180%, so it's a little weaker, Increase his own support's combo rate by 50%. That is insane for PV PvE. I got him for PvE because I'm going to get Berserker Renji whenever we get a discount frenzy. Because I believe that's the only event you can get him on on Facebook. And I was annoyed because uh, two days ago, before I did my top-up, um, I got Berserker Renji in discount frenzy for 60%. He was only 14k, which is like crazy because he's normally like 20 on the server. So... It sucks. I didn't have my gold because I would have loved to pick him up. He's the only one I'm missing. Him and Senju. And then my team will be done. 
Uh, I might get Sexy Kukaku, but I mean, eh, I don't really know. I haven't seen her once since her event, like when she came out months ago, so I don't know how long it'll be until I see her. Same with uh, Senjumaru. I haven't seen her in months, which is why I'm going to hold on to my gold. Same for Content. I'm holding on just in case we get her. Um, it'll be tempting as hell to just pick up Tensa and stuff, but I'll try to hold off on that. Because Cotton is just way too good to to not get. Like, the PvE damage alone is 2-3 is times uh, higher than Tensa because of the crit damage and the crit chance. But, uh, so 50% combo to supports. That'll be crazy for PvE. Increase own damage rate by 15% for two rounds and restore own fury by 50. So, he's not terrible. Like, I mean, self fury by 50, that's pretty good. It's no, you know, it's no 100, 150. But if he gets a crit fury, he'll, he'll skill every turn. Um, or is it every turn? Or will it get 75? I don't remember if it's crit on 50 is 75 or 100. I don't remember. Um, but uh, increased own damage rate by 15. So, you know, he'll still do some pretty decent damage. Um, and besides, he was free. Well, quotes on free. Um, so yeah, he's not bad. I think he's Baron Nation. People are giving him a lot of, like, uh, or, um, blah, blah, blah. People are, are, like, talking about how shitty he is and stuff because he was supposed to be a lot better. I, I think, I'm hoping he'll get buffed. I think he is pretty meh. Like, I think, uh, if they just changed his agility to, like, 3.7, 3.8, maybe 4.0, then I would consider him in very, very good for a double S. I think that would be great, and then I don't think he'd be as bad because he has a good modify. His tier three, for example, is incredible. If you he was he would be there just to debuff the team, the enemy team, so then your supports could you know your T1 support could just do all that more damage because 20% of void would help eliminate a super tanky tank like a like a Nozarashi or a or an Ichibe uh, or a Kukaku even because she gets a crazy amount of immune or whatever or increased defense and stuff. So. Not bad, and I he's he's really, I mean, he's not terrible. He's definitely made to be with Tenjiro because of his tier 2. He'll gain 20% if you have Tenjiro. I don't know why it's called Tenshiro here, but I believe it's Tenjiro. And, uh, but even then, he still gets 10%. His uh, first one is nice. He'll gain 510. He'll gain 25%, 35 plus his skill. He'll gain 50% damage rate if he skills at the last turn. During like evil spirit. I mean 50% more damage rate is pretty insane. So yeah. He's not crap, but he's also not, you know, amazing. He but he's only a double S, so I don't know what people expect. And then we got my Ichibe here with the level 100 gear. Oh yeah, yeah, let me show his stones. So I got uh I opened when I topped up, I got I think it was like five. I bought it. I got a total of like five level 10 boxes and I think like five level nines and a bunch of eights and sevens and so on. Out of all the nines and tens, I didn't get a single agility. Not one. My luck is terrible. And I'm actually going to be getting another four from Soul Cultivation in the next day or two. So I'm hoping I get one or two agility because my Hikafune is only running like eights and sevens because I just can't get lucky and I can't get anything higher than like a seven and agility. It's irritating. But I got a level 10 strength. I got another level 10 strength. I got a 9 strength, I got an 8 strength, an 8 strength, and then a 7 strength. So, almost a full set of 8 plus on him, which is why he's so strong right now. Alright, here's my Ichibe. Got 10 staminas and 8, 9 dodge. I actually just, I was just building up dodges, and, um, because I don't actually want him hitting. You know, like, I'm not gonna worry about putting hit or anything on him for a while. I just kind of put a miscellaneous wisdom on him, whatever. Just, you know... He's just made for tanking. I mean, 500k HP, pretty good. Not bad. I mean, considering I'm only running Jizu, or Jizo, who is really good for a 1-2-2 two, two formation. I don't know why more people don't run him. He's really good. He makes your tank really tanky, considering for a freeze on. He's very good. He gives your support crazy speed and damage for a freeze on. I think Jizo is, is way better than, than uh, Kazushini. I don't know why people run Kazushini for, but... I don't know. And then here's uh, my Nomura, or uh, Oetsu. I'm working on his Evo right now. I got him up. Got him up. I got really unlucky and ended up having to spend like friggin' 150 uh, just to get these magnifiers that I used earlier. So, but I'm working on him. He's uh, not bad. I just got all these to 30, 30, 30. 
Uh, there's my gear. He's got my second best set for my support because he's my not my main support. He will be once I get his um, third tier, which is what I'm working on now. I'm just farming. I'm farming. The difference between this server and the other, uh, the Go Game servers, is certain partners give more mod frags. Like on the Go Game servers, Harry Bell gives 20, I think 26 uh, frags every time you cultivate, but or every time you train. But on here, uh, it's actually Sanjin who gives the 26. So I had to figure that out by hiring a ton of partners and finding out which ones give the most. So I'm, I'm farming Sajin, uh, Kisuke, because he gives 22. And I'm also farming, and I'm farming them both, I think, three times a day. It's not that much gold. It's only like, I don't know, 250 gold. But I can literally get a star, like, every... I can get the first star in one day. I can get the second stars in, I think, like, two days. And I can get the third in, like, three days. So every, almost, like, I think, like, once a week, I can get, like, 300 frags. So it's ridiculously quick nowadays. And that's only doing the 60%. If you do the 80%, it's even quicker. And then, obviously, when you have Shinigami Agent, you farm... God damn it. You farm the uh, the frags for Tenjiro, and then you just use him as your... Um, whenever you happen to get three stars or whatever, and then you just inherit him because you'll get like 500 frags from him. So there's that. Uh, he's got, you know, seven agility, six, seven wisdoms, six agility. I'm working on his agility now and his wisdoms. Uh, not bad, considering I literally just got him today. Uh, I actually, I got um, Ichibe, uh, Oetsu, and Tensai today, and I got him all to 100 because of the, uh, because of spinning the the um unlucky turn or the unlucky turntable the lucky turntable like i don't even know 1500 times or something i end up having like 18,000 gold souls for free so yeah i'm set uh that's enough to get another two like two and a quarter partners straight to 100 so when i do get send you i can get her straight to 100 and if i get a, a better assaulter like berserker i can uh or berserk renji i can go straight to 100 all right, so there's that. And then here's my Hikifune, who I actually had on day one, which is why her Ebo is almost seven. Uh, I'm going to get her to nine for the initial Fury, and then I'll finally, and then I'll be able to take off Psychic, and uh, and I'll be able to put the crit damage back, which would be really good. Uh, I end up just, I end up just buying the T1 today. It cost me about, I want to say about 35k gold. It wasn't a lot. To get a pure T1 for 35k, not bad at all. So... So there's her stone. She's got a lot of hit for her. I think I'm at like 200 and 250% almost, which is really high. I got a lot of hit stones in my boxes. She's got like eight agilities and sevens. Her wisdoms are, I believe, all eight. Uh, you know, she's got over 90% crit. Uh, she'll have over 100% once I get her more crit stones and finish her Evo and yada yada. Um, so yeah, not bad. I just got her third mod, so now I'll stop and I won't even go for any more because, well, there's no point going past the third mod with her. Not until you get your Oetsu to, I want to, what is it, six? Yeah, six is the one that you stop. Ultimate is good because of the invincibility, which counters Hikis. But hey, yep, there's that. So there's the team. Um, go ahead and show speed. 219k, really good considering... She only has level, like, 7 agility stones. If I got lucky and got some 10s, I could easily push her to, like, 300k, which I'm hoping to do when I get my level 10 boxes. Uh, yeah, let's use that 100k. Like I said, he's I, he doesn't have any speed yet. I'll be getting his 20%, which will be huge, and I'll get him more stones and his Evo and all that other stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it there. Uh, treasures... So I've got some, you know, just miscellaneous things I've gotten in eights. I got a six. I got some fives. He's got uh, a nine for for damage, which I believe I got this one from the event where you, like, it was like a crossover top-up. And everybody who topped up, you were able to, like, claim these boxes in it. Yeah, so I got a nine agility. And uh, that's, yeah. These were all free. I didn't pay for any of them. That's why I have them. Each of I've got a, a nine stamina, which once again I didn't pay for. I got that earlier for free, not for free, but you know for top up. I got a ten agility here, and I got an eleven wisdom. I actually I forgot that I, I thought this I thought this was an eleven, but I didn't realize it was only a ten. I got to get him an eleven. Hikafune, I just maxed out hers. It's quality eleven plus ten. 
I don't remember if you can upgrade these to 12 on that event or not, or if you can only upgrade to like level five, or I don't remember how that works or quality five. So I have to look into that. I uh, got a level 11 wisdom. I got an eight stamina. Once again, this was free. I paid for these during the uh, that one event we had not too long ago where you got level where you got level 100 ultimate sets for like 3k gold or 4k gold. It was really cheap because on this server, they're normally like significantly more than that. So there's that. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm saving up to, to max that out next. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm at 27. Mm. So... That's... I got like 400 of those earlier. Oh, wait, I got an achievement here. Really good. Oh, yeah. Nothing special. Okay. What else can I show? There's my soul cultivation. 90, almost 9,600. Should have that in a day or two. And then I'll be going I'll be going for the level 10 stones, then 11, then 12, and then I'll probably just go for exclusive frags. Because, I mean, by the time I actually... By the time I actually need or get another bar filled after these three, I won't probably need these. So, those aren't bad either because I, uh, I need to get ultimate speeds because I only have... I think like a blue speed is the highest one I have. So that's a lot of speed I'm missing there. Uh, what else do we got? Here's the hollow map. I'm on the second fight here on Stark. It'll be a while. Spot of one is a pretty big spike in, you know, uh, spike in difficulty. I passed the first three really easy. And then I, uh, when I topped up, I still was only able to beat him, even with a T1 Hiki. So... Uh, here's the guild and all that it's actually really hard to level because I'm the only I think I'm the, like the only one that donates yeah I mean look at the donation like these these <laughs> so yeah is there anything else we got here there's the Zahn I use obviously I, uh, I actually got a ridiculous amount of these from spinning. I'm at 8,600, so I'm saving that for content, so I can just go straight to probably, like, level 20s, 30s. So it'll be a huge boost there. Uh, same with... Same with all the other stuff I'm saving. Uh, I'm saving Reincarnation Stones. By the time I hit 110, I should be able to do all five partners to tier... Uh, to Reincarnation 1. Which is really important because the people I go against in CSB are all reincarnated. So I do they do 30% more damage. So it's really irritating. I also think they I do 30% less because I'm not reincarnated. It's a stupid system and it's terrible. It should be more like Unlimited, or, uh, Unlimited Ninja. But you literally became 30% weaker until you reincarnate. And it's a shitty, shitty system. Don't know why they did it that way. It just punishes anyone that's, you know, not really high, uh, you know, really high power. Because they, they get nerfed, and now it's going to take them forever to farm. Because, you know, maybe they can't clear hard, you know, and get, like, you know, 70 of these a day or whatever it is. I can't clear hard still. <sighs> no way. I can't do it probably for another 500 kbp or something like that. Arena, clearly, uh, you know, I'm first. First since day one. Just uh, saving up to get Soul King. I'm not going to go for Mugetsu because that's, you know, that's too annoying to maintain. Because unlike, unlike Unlimited Ninja, your rank actually does decrease, which is stupid. But since you'd have to spend gold. So let's just see a fight. Boom. And dead. So there's that. Ooh. Uh, what I'm confused about Waco Mundo attacks is there's only 70... I think this is fighting people from Go Game servers because... Um, there are only 75 or 76 Facebook servers total, yet uh, there's a server 117. That doesn't actually exist. That's only in Go Games. We don't have that number yet, you know? 72, okay, 123, that's not even a real server. 97's not real. I know this guy, he's like top 5 on CSB. Uh, you know, 86 is impossible. It's just a lot of these servers, 110 is impossible. A lot of these servers don't actually exist. 308, that's absolutely impossible. So, yeah, I guess we do have a cross-server thing. I thought this was only from Facebook people, but it seems to be from GoGame servers as well. 
but CSB isn't. CSB is only for Facebook people, so Facebook server. So there's that. But you can see the difference here between the top five and everyone else, right? So because these people are all these people are reincarnated. And the damage difference and the power difference between being reincarnated and not is like night and day. And that's why they have such a huge lead. Because um, I'm fa I'm actually faster than, I believe, everyone here. Now I am. Even before I topped up, I, I was faster than Unknown Name. And he has like 1.7 mil. And I was under, I was only at like 850k. And I was actually still faster than him. I, I believe I'm faster than Kuro. I believe I'm faster than Tiger. I haven't actually fought Zenkai or Coco yet. Um, Sami Koko. That name is really familiar. For some reason, I believe there's a, a guy named Coco on Kaiser's server, but he plays a much older server, and he plays on Go games, so there's no way it's him. But it's just interesting. Um, yeah, they all have much better Zons too. Like a lot of them have Hiyoi Maru, and a lot of them have um, Muramasa. But I'm saving it for for Katen because. That will give me a ridiculous lead because the the crit damage and the the crit chance and everything else like that. So there's that. I think that's pretty much everything. I end up renewing this for three months plus what I had, so I'm kind of worried about it for four months. It's cheap. It's worth it because you got I got 30 of these every single time, so that really helped. Um. Is there anything else I can talk about? I wish they had the right make the right uh, make money. I was hoping they were gonna have the uh, the one where you do like the five days, because then that would have been another another twenty five percent or something, which would have been nice. Uh, I think that's absolutely everything I can talk about on this. I don't think there's anything else. Here's my soul map. Not too far from being red. Which is not bad considering it's only a month and a half old. Got 19 to destroy the world, 21 Dragon Slash. I don't know why anybody would use Incinerate anymore. Incinerate, Dragon Slash is the way to go for uh, PvE events. Here's the reincarnation, 1600 stone saved up. Hoping to get about 2000 or 2500 saved by the time I hit 110. Leveling is a lot slower now. I still get a level like every day and a half for two days. But it should allow me enough time to get at least 2,000 to at least reincarnate 4. I won't reincarnate to Sai, so I guess that actually works out fine. Because I'll reincarnate main, Ichibei, Oetsu, and Hikafune. Uh, once you reincar your, reincarnate your main once, you can reincarnate anybody else as many times as you want. So I'll probably take Hikafune and Oetsu to like 2 and 3. And not even worry about your main, my main whatsoever. Um, I'm not actually sure what skills I want to get from reincarnating for them. I don't know which ones to go for. Uh, the 300% is really nice. I think I think the normal attack on all is pretty good. I think that's the one I'll probably end up getting for Hikafune and Oetsu. Just because they're my heaviest hitters. Or hardest hitters. Um, yeah, that's everything. I guess I'll, uh, I'll be making an update video in probably a few days. I'll do a opening of my level 10 spirit boxes and that is everything i'll see you guys later